Hello friends, welcome back. So now we if uh, draft if the post address is wrapped, then it will simply get the caps into the array. And else, if the user is trying to add it somewhere else post. So in our current request, uh, the author current logged in author logged in user uh, trying to edit the post uh, post which is created by the other user. Okay, so that means uh, we need to check whether current uh post type have added other post capability or not so here you can see the edit other uh, not this one um uh, edit other post yeah edit other post capability is set okay so it will take that capability and stored into the caps uh argument uh, value variable add in array variable okay and whether if it's a private post or not if it's a status private then it will check whether the current uh po current user can uh Added the private post or not? Okay, so all these caps capability will uh, uh, like created and gathered by the this map meta cap, and it will return. Okay, so I'm, let me just simply uh, um, do un unchase here. Okay, so now if you see here, uh, we are getting this after the starting. Uh, we are getting this to edit other post and edit publish post because current user is not author of that current post okay and because of that it will uh, this else condition executed and it will return the capabilities which we need to check against that user role whether that role can act can have a, uh, do have a capability to edit a published post and edit others post okay so this capabilities uh, will be written okay this edit other post and edit published post okay and Whatever the capabilities, uh, primitive capabilities written by that map meta cap function, all these capabilities should be uh, there into that role. User role should have that all these capabilities. If it's one of it, it's not, then it will simply return that, okay, sorry, that role, you, you current user do not have access to it. Okay, so now back to the uh, user. Okay, so here we have return caps and it will simply just do uh, other things like we, whether it's a multi site setup, if it is a super admin, and or uh, if it's a super admin, then it by default it will have a true until that caps array will have a do not allow. Okay, and then you can merge the existing user cap capabilities. Okay, so that uh, uh, you can f you can pass these caps to filter and you can you can just simply check and then that user. Uh, then we have all the capabilities so dollar is all caps so all caps property of this wp user class will have all the capabilities uh, which will have assigned to that user role okay so based on that all capabilities will be checked here and uh, they will simply just go through each and every caps which is written by this a uh, map meta cap function okay and in in one of these capabilities empty okay then it will simply return false so for example here uh, i will simply check and return the capabilities uh, variable here okay and see uh, not the die statement okay and simply just refresh the page okay in the starting so sorry you are not allowed to edit this item so about that we have to check so this is the array Okay, so this is the all the all the capabilities have, that user have, and these capabilities you can see into the. Uh, in, uh, sorry, there are too many things. Okay, now in the array, so all and that user is the author role. Okay, so all these capabilities you can find in all these capabilities here into in in this array okay and now it will check whether these two capabilities edit other post and edit publish post capabilities are uh, they exist or not into the users uh, uh, capabilities so edit publish post already there okay but edit other post uh, capability is not exist here that means for, uh, that, that user do not have uh, do not have access uh, to that uh, capability okay so in the wp user class it will simply check whether if it's one of the capabilities empty then it will simply return false and be and because of that if you go here it where the current user can will return the false 
and simply say you are not allowed to edit this item so like this is the basic way uh, like uh, uh, that a user like how this capability is uh, used to check whether the current user have access or not and this meta capabilities which will be uh, mapped to the primitive capabilities and all these primitive capabilities used uh, to uh, make a different access for the different users all right so author cannot have cannot publish the or cannot edit the other author's post okay um so yeah so and there are multiple uh, other capabilities so you can definitely you have to uh, you should go through this function there are multiple meta capabilities are there just not for the post but for users for managing the plugins for managing the categories and everything okay so you can you can go through this or uh, all this uh, meta ma uh, sorry meta capabilities and see how this function is returning okay so this way you can uh, you can also understand how these things uh, capabilities are um, uh, are working and how it's check whether the user have access or not okay and uh, yeah and if or uh, if we are using the custom capabilities uh, and if it's not defined in this uh, then it will simply just run the default it will simply the, run the switch default switch case and it will simply return uh, the same capability again uh, as it is and then simply uh in the wp user you will be just check whether the capability assigned to that uh, user or not okay so uh for custom capabilities uh, we uh, we uh, the map meta care function won't work um uh, because the custom capabilities are the like custom it's not there is no any meta and primitive capabilities in that case okay but you can you can uh you can explore uh, after watching this video and try to understand more how these things are working okay so let me just unchange all these things here um so i hope you understand i try my best to give you explanation about these uh, capabilities okay uh so similar way you can go through each and every like but to you you can just take some request for an example and then just simply either you can modify code i statement into the wordpress core files or maybe you can use axe debug to go through how things are working so in the x debug without making eco die statement you can check the current values okay what from which values uh, execute are uh, returned by that function and you can see uh, entire uh, execution in the sequence okay so yeah and that's why we are seeing the sorry you are not allowed this edit this item and similarly if it's uh, if user is trying to edit the uh, or edit the post own post then simply in the in the capabilities.php file uh in this map meta cap you can uh, this if condition will execute um where is this one uh edit yeah edit post so this will run, execute if the post author is set and the current user is also the like the post author and the current user are the same then it will simply check whether the post status is published then it will simply edit publish post edit publish post and edit post and this uh, uh, capabilities already have publish post edit publish post and edit post so these capabilities will be returned by that function and the user has kept method has kept method will simply check against these capabilities and all these capabilities are assigned to that user so simply it's a true and you so user can edit their own post okay so this way uh, this map meta cap uh, capabilities are working so after watching this video you can try this one uh, locally and see how things are working and explore these various uh, uh, different classes functions and everything about the capabilities and try to understand what is a meta capability and the primitive uh, primitive capabilities and how uh, those things are working okay so yeah uh, so in the next uh, video uh, i will talk about uh, a custom meta capabilities uh, custom capabilities not a meta capability custom capabilities and uh, how we can add a custom capabilities to post types and taxonomies how we can register or add a custom user roles right so those things we will uh, we will learn okay so yeah uh, see you on the next one jai wordpress